Hey everyone, welcome to AutoPH. Today, we will be checking out the 2020 Ford Everest 2.0 Titanium. This video is actually going to be a full tour and review of the 2020 Ford Mustang GT Premium. We'll be showing the different exterior and interior features. But before we begin, we'd like to thank our friends at Ford Edsa Green Hills for letting us feature some of their vehicles. You can find their contact details in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and check it out. The Mustang is one of the most popular vehicles in Ford's lineup worldwide. The first generation of the Mustang began manufacturing in 1964. What we're looking at is the facelifted 6th generation which was launched in the Philippines during the 2018 Manila International Auto Show. The updated Mustang came with a minor exterior redesign with reshaped headlights, a bigger grille, and a new hood. The rear and interior also received updates which will be mentioned in the later parts of this review. Now as we look at the exterior, the Mustang still gets the iconic looks it has always been known for. It is equipped with full LED headlights. It also gets LED turn signals and LED fog lights on the bumper. You also get a honeycomb grille with the iconic Mustang logo. Moving to the side, you get LED turn indicators on the side mirrors. This GT Premium variants get 19-inch black painted aluminum alloy wheels in 255-40 R19 tires in front and wider 275-40 R19 tires in the back. You get disc brakes on all four wheels. The ones in front are Brembo brakes. Moving to the rear, the Mustang still also gets the iconic looks it has always known for, just like in front. Full LED taillights are standard. You also get rear fog lights on the lower part of the bumper. This one also gets quad exhaust pipes which add to the already sporty design. This variant also gets a large GT emblem in place of the Mustang emblem which shows that you have the top spec Mustang. Overall, and as already mentioned, the Mustang still looks iconic as it has always been, despite it being modernized. We think it's a bit conservative compared to its competition, but that's not a bad thing because people want it for its looks. In our opinion, it's great that Ford does not update the Mustang in revolutionary ways because it gets to keep its heritage, the heritage it is known for. Under the hood, the Mustang GT is powered by a 5.0 liter dual overhead cam 32-valve V8 gasoline engine. It has 460 horsepower at 7,000 RPM and 570 newton meters of torque at 4,600 RPM. It is paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Power is sent to the rear wheels. Fuel economy is estimated at 6 km per liter in the city and 10 to 11 km per liter on the highway. Safety features on Mustang GT Premium include 7 airbags, rear backup camera, ABS with EBD, electronic stability control, and Isofix child seat anchors. On the key fob of the Mustang, you can find your unlock and lock buttons and trunk release. Now getting inside, the Mustang gets Ford Smart Key Access System. To lock the vehicle, simply press the touch-sensitive area on the door handle. To unlock, simply pull the door handle. The Mustang GT Premium gets a black interior with black leather Recaro front seats. This Mustang is equipped with push-button start. To start, simply have the key in the vehicle, put your foot on the brake and press the start button.
Here of the lever for your 10-speed automatic transmission with sport mode. You can shift manually via the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. You also get a rear backup camera. The Mustang is equipped with dual zone automatic climate control. The fan speed is controlled by the buttons in the center. Temperature is controlled by the toggles on the sides. All adjustments also reflect and can be done on the Mustang's touchscreen head unit. This Mustang gets Ford Sync 3 8-inch touchscreen head unit. The system features AM and FM radio, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, XM satellite radio, and navigation. The screen is generally responsive. A place it may need to improve is the navigation screen, which lags at times. The screen's graphics also look good, though it may need some updates to make it look a bit more modern. The presence of knobs, as always, is very much welcome. Just below the AC controls, you can find some other controls in the form of toggle switches. These are your hazard lights, stability control, and your different driving modes. By using the toggle switch, you can select between normal mode, sport mode, track mode, Drag strip mode, snow or wet mode, and back to normal mode. Further below the toggle switches, you can find some storage, a USB port, and a power outlet. You also get two cup holders in the center console. Storage underneath the center armrest is also quite large and deep. There is also a USB port inside. This one also gets a commemorative badge for the Mustang's 55th year in production. On the steering wheel, you have controls for the audio system, cruise control, and Bluetooth. You also get paddle shifters for manual shifting.
Towards the left, you have your headlight controls and adjustments for the 12-inch digital instrument cluster. Here you have your door locks, down here your power folding mirrors button. Both windows are one touch automatic up and down. Moving to the rear seats of the Mustang, getting inside wasn't too easy as we couldn't find a way for the seat to slide forward automatically. Nevertheless, space was actually good for someone at 5 feet and 6 inches to get inside. It is a different story though once seated as the space here is best for children or smaller adults as it is quite tight here. That shouldn't be a problem though as the Mustang isn't meant to be a people carrier. Getting out would also be a bit more difficult as the rear passenger won't have means to move the front seat forward if it does not on its own. Overall, the interior of the Mustang GT is a very good place to be in. Visibility isn't bad and the front Recaro seats are extremely comfortable. Would probably feel the same while on the road. And while design is subjective, the interior will probably fit everyone's taste. Moving further back, to open the trunk from the outside, simply press the button on the key fob twice. The Mustang comes with around 380 liters of space, which is not bad at all for a two-door fastback. Below you have space for your spare tire and tools. The 2020 Ford Mustang GT Premium Fastback has an MSRP of 3,538,000 Philippine Pesos. So that's all for the 2020 Ford Mustang GT Premium. Please do subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for more videos.